and a question. Could it be that the young princes that I colored a few days ago, that some thought were women and some thought they were a man and a woman, could it be this is truly their princes that they have been face to face coming against each other that they are to win this one's heart could it be i guess it's all in our story and what we want to believe so today we are going to use some of the colors I did in this page on her. And we're using Castle Art pencils. So that's what I used on this page, which I thought turned out pretty. And we're going to see what we can do with her. And I did a little more investigating this time on skin colors rather than just um, trying to come up with my own. So this is what I um, came up with. And I'm going to be using on this young princess who wants to become the fairest of the land and become queen. <laughs> so we'll find out. We'll find out what happens. So we're going to be working with 19 coral. We're going to be working with 74 cad orange light remember we go by the pencil lead and not what's on the end not sure why they do that and we're going to be using tangerine number 20 and for a little bit of darkness i'm going to use the cinnamon number 12 and this is what the color swatching looks like. And I just did that this morning. Although this is my um, Polychromos skin tones that I'm working on. As you can see, I haven't finished it. So let's, let's get started um, with this. And I want to do something different today. I have a young man who's been with me from the very beginning, and he has a thing about Disney and Disney characters. So this is his channel. So, Jamie, anybody who's interested, there's Jamie's channel. I... Um, just wanted to give a shout out to him and his channel. He has the cutest ears you ever saw. He has headbands with ears on them of all kinds, shapes, and forms on his wall. I, and uh, this young person has encouraged me from the day I started. So I just wanted to give him and his channel. So I'm going to leave it right there. Hope you can see it. You can look it up and see what he does. So we're going to get started with 74. And that's more of a skin tone. So let's see how I do with this. And this is Castle Art. And we are in our daydream book by Hannah Carlson. Not sure how you pronounce it, but that's the best I can do. Uh, 
Okay. And if you forgot that I did the young men, let's see where they are. I want to show you everything because I want to do a... Okay. Now, doesn't the story make more sense now that we found her? <laughs> and we're going to see... What this entails. Now, Castle Art pencils are a drier pencil than what we're used to using when you have polychromos or Prisma. which seems to be the majority. I've been checking out other brands. Um, that are supposed to be pretty close to Prisma. They said they're not Prisma, but they are really close and they're the price difference is a lot and um, there's one on Amazon that for I've, I just, I've listened to two or three people now and they all love these and it starts with a B but I can't remember how to what it is they are from Maybe everybody in her country has this kind of a nose. But you can get <laughs> 520 pencils off of Amazon for 100 and... Well, there's a little bit of a sale on, on the one. 100 and... I, I was thinking it said 101 by the time I got my discount on it. Lots and lots of greens, but again, like Castle Art, you cannot buy replacement pencils. But I don't want to be that cat woman with uh, a million pencils. <laughs> But I was thinking of anyone who wanted a nice set of pencils that's close. The young man that I listened to, he is a very good artist, and I saw some of his his pictures. And um, He said they, they they really work wonderful. He says, do you need both sets? And he said, absolutely not. And he said, one set, which is 280 pencils, I think. Or if it's five, it would be 250. Anyway... You would have so many colors that you wouldn't, I don't think you would really run out for a long time. One color may be your favorite, but there will be one that's right next to it. And I've heard a lot of good stuff about it, about them. So I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to with. Think more about with what I got. It's 
So I put them on a wish list in my in my Amazon. And maybe one day. But I always like to check things out. And be prepared. <laughs> I think as I've gotten older, I I stock up more than I used to. And when I had the children and everything going on. So that could be just me. I do have a huge thing of toilet paper in my trunk. <laughs> you never know. I live in a small house. I don't have room for this stuff. But when you start buying things in larger quantities, you can because you don't need anything else. It was funny as I I was out of softener for my uh, washing my clothes, and the water here is pretty pretty strong, hard. So I went to the store to get some, and I always use fragrance free stuff. It smells, and I don't like each other too much. For a lot of years and um, so I got home I was going to do my laundry and I picked up yeah you're right I picked up a bottle of soap instead of softener you know uh, oh my gosh. So I used a little vinegar. And the next time I went to the store, I grabbed a bottle, a dish of uh, laundry soap, and got home, and you'll never believe it, I got laundry soap again. <laughs> and I had a huge one to start with. I just ran out of it the other day. Last week, I think it was. But it's like, okay. I finally did get my softener and I got a great big bottle of it. <laughs> it's like, oh no. All right, so I don't know which color to go over her with. Because we do need to give her a second coat. And 19 is very peachy, so I think we're going to try 20. Which is, this is what we just did, which is kind of peachy. This one, I don't know if it's darker or lighter, but let's give it a try. Let's start up here by her forehead. Now you have to realize I'm still kind of new at all of this pencil stuff too. So I'm learning right along with you. I think I was awake until midnight last night, one o'clock. Just watching some things, learning some things. Can't believe how many color theories I've watched. I think I'm starting, just starting to get it. I'm going to darken her little nostril there. You know, she's got the same nose. I hope they're not related. <laughs> Let's hope it came with So 
Now I'm going to try to make the wings in her hair like I did the bees. I'm going to do some navy blue and then I'm going to use the, I used a gold um, gel pen and then I went it over it with my Folk Art Extreme Glitter. And I keep forgetting when I go to Walmart to see if they have any other kind of extreme glitters. <laughs> Walmart is cl close to me. Hobby Lobby is far away. I mean, for some people it wouldn't be that far, but for me it is. So I have to get on the freeway and head on down the road. I think that's turning out pretty. I could have done her some of her skin off camera, but I thought we would we would just do it together and see what happens. I am gonna put a little. And these are just those; they're twice as long. Those little pencil cushions that you get. I got a whole bag of them for under $5, I think. Sometimes I think things are cheaper than what I paid for them, so you'll have to just look them up. But they really, one thing is they help you to hold your pencil back and not do such a tight grip. Because I have the tendency to do the death grip. She may need some rosy, rosy uh, lipstick on. Okay. Let's get this turned around. I'm trying to put a little heavier on her cheeks, under her chin, under her nose. This um, castle art colors very nicely in this book. I had to use the Gamsol a little bit with the Prisma colors for the boys. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're my boys, though. In your books, they might be the girls. She's kind of the same color as they they are, so. I do have, and I was going to use my um, what do you call them markers? I was messing around with 
a room with them and um, so I did a a little thing a chart their flesh tone and um, the only thing I see on her I used um, which one was it I thought the pink salmon or maybe the powder the powder blue I don't remember I think it was the pink salmon and uh, you have to give them one coat be very careful and just so I don't know if it's these pencils I don't know if it, uh, these markers I don't know if some of the other ones would be better but it definitely this is just a, a 80 pound card stock definitely bleeds through so I decided I, I don't I don't want it to bleed through on my because I look to see and that's the peacock and I wouldn't want it to ruin my peacock someday I might color him So our flowers are going to be in the same colors that we used over there, which is Castle Art, Cad Orange Deep 79, and Peach. I forgot about Peach. Anyway, that's what I used on those. On those. I was coloring those last night. Yeah, and I was watching a movie <laughs> or listening to somebody preaching or something, probably. That's a pretty color. Let's see if we can. And give her some rosier cheeks. I'm laying my pencil sideways. Why? Because now I don't want, I do not want a tip of the pencil to make a mark. Sideways, look at how pretty. You can literally Bring in a much softer. Just be careful when you roll it. So I made a little dark spot up there. It's pretty, huh? I know the upper lip is supposed to have a little white spot, but I really like this color for her cheeks. Or if it's your picture, his cheeks. <laughs> finish this this part I'm 
it's supposed to be almost 80 degrees today. And then it'll cool back down again. I got an early Mother's Day present from my beautiful daughter. She sent me a pair of earth sandals. Oh my gosh, are they comfortable. She said it's an early Mother's Day present. Trying to make it a little bit darker in between all of these flowers. I think she turned out really pretty. I like it. Her hair I do want to use um, Let's see. Let me sharpen it. Just going to see if I couldn't just blend, soften these edges. I don't know if it worked or not. Okay, let me, uh, you know what we should have done? Where is that? Just, I think it's supposed to be a little bit of a shadow in here. Like that. Then we could take, where does it go? Oh, they're, underneath. they're hiding underneath this. All this stuff I got out. Oops, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to bounce you guys around. I was just gonna take my brown. Very gently. This is just a shadow. Kind of like that. Soften that out. I just wanted to do a little bit around her, her hairline, not much. like that. Okay. I know 
I have the white over here. I'm just going to fill in the white. I'm going to do a little bit of brown down here. A little bit of brown up here. But I always like to leave a little white spot. And so we could bring out just a tiny bit darker. I'm, I'm going to just grab a Prisma. But just uh, go just a little bit darker. And just the very, 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 very corners. Just a little bit darker. Because we want it to, let's see, where did I get that from? There. Okay. Let me open up my little box of treasures. And we're going to do her hair. I was going to show you what I spray. Um, it's a Krylon. It's a UV resistant clear acrylic coating. It protects against harmful UV light rays, non yellowing permanent coating, moisture resistant coating, and it dries quick. Now it does stink, but I spray outside and then I have this. Um, it doesn't take long for the smell to go away, but it does a little bit. And so I have this giant clothespin-like metal one with a hook on it. I think they used to use them to hang something that you might have washed clothes with or something. Wash something and hang it over the bar. I don't know. I don't even know how I got it or where it came from. But anyway... So I use that and I hang it and shut my door. I hang it on my screen door on the chain and, um, and shut the door. So we used honey, wild honey. Here it is. Um, the other two persons. We will call them persons. And these are my little finger um, dabbers. And they work, they work pretty good too. So this is wild honey. And we're just going to start by highlighting her hair, the chunks of it. And if this is too big, we can switch to something smaller. So it's kind of like in a braid. So I'm just going to try... And I do not want to get anything on these wings. I'm going to take a sticky note. And I think that's going to be navy blue, so that's probably okay. I just don't want to get anything on the wing part because that's going to be clear. So I'm just pulling it. I'm still learning, but I'm just pulling it with the curve. And I'm giving it a little press down. Press down. And one more. Okay, so now we used what? What did we use? Gathering twigs, vintage photo. I'm sure we went to, was it Rusty Hinge? Well, let's try Rusty Hinge. Where's my little? Yeah, let's try it. It doesn't seem to be too dark.
I just love this stuff for doing the hair. Well, I'm getting better at it. That's pretty. So, I don't have anything small enough to do that. So, I can either use a Q-tip, and I have some pointy ones, or I can use the side. See, just like that. I could even get around closer to her face if I wanted to. that and come around like that so this would be easy just to do a little bit darker Leave that for a minute. Let's do this. Okay. Just adding some I, I could color and I and I thought about it, but I want to do her hair the way I did their hair. I do do a lot of coloring, so not like I have to do it all the time. I think that's pretty. Even if you just got you one set, <laughs> these are so much fun. I think they're about ten dollars for four. You don't get to pick the colors, but you can pick the color grouping. Um, and just every once in a while, you could just get you one or two and that's all we're gonna do with that so now I want to make her wings um, match up with our our bees um, the colors and then the wings will be clear and then I will
then I will do that. <laughs> I think I'll get a drink of water while I... Mm. All right, so I need... I came up with Ultra Marine Violet to be the closest um, to the dark color. And so I'm just going to kind of do some of this and some of this in um, the wing color over there. And I use the gold Jelly Roll metallic in between a lot of it. So I am going to start right here. Try not to get on the dots. Just like that. And I can put the little gold. And I'm not doing it here because I had trouble over there when I did the white. So I'm going to do white in her wings, which I could do now. And then I could color any place I wanted to. But anyway, this navy blue is really, I mean, it'll smear like crazy. So you have to be really careful with it. So we're just going to fill all of these in, in the navy blue. And then I'm going to come in the center and I'm going to use my gold jelly pen. And it's going to look like she borrowed them right off of a bee. <laughs> you never know. Okay. I'm just filling in. side of all of these little things and then with my little dots I'm going to put so it wouldn't have mattered if I covered them up or not but okay I'm thinking I'm going to Go outline it with gold, but I think I better wait. And I should have. I should have. I should have. I should have, but I didn't. This keyboard is always in my way. And it, it fits right nicely on top of my computer. It's just a little, little box. But I'm going to go ahead and get this done. I want to give it a good, heavy coat of white. I think tomorrow I'm going to have to go Hobby Lobby and see what they've got as far as pencils. I remember seeing them, but I wasn't into them, so I didn't even really look. I want to make sure I get a good, heavy coat of white. Uh, 
Now the 1B, I did the gold lines and then I did the white over the top of it and it looks just a smidgen smeared. So I wasn't too happy with that. So that's how we learn. Oops, don't do it that way. Now we can come back in with her hair and put some more darker highlights. We got on the other side nothing, so why? Why did it feel lumpy? Okay, I think I'm out of pencil. We're just going to fill all of this in. like that. Just want to make sure I get it well covered. And this is Prisma, it's not the <laughs> um, Castle Rock. I haven't even tried the Castle Rock one. I keep my white pencils in a jar <laughs> with all my blender pencils and then they're all just right right there. Okay. Now where's my blue pencil? There it is. So Let's cover up all these little designs. Just like that. And then we went, we went ahead and covered this all up. It sounded like my glass and my thing popping. All right, I don't know what that is. Ooh, it's her hair, huh? No, it's not. Well, let's just fill it in with the navy because I, I want that color to come over here. All right. Now we're going to go back to our fun little jelly pin. Fill in all these little spots. Just 
just like we did the uh, like I did the um, bees wings maybe she's the queen bee okay I am going to make these gold I'm going to pull them out before I get too far away from them. Just like that. Okay, let's see. We haven't done anything. Okay, so I can get in here, get these little guys done. Like that. And start these are much longer lines so I imagine we have to go slower so the pen can keep up and the ink sure love these pencils these jelly roll that's what the guy was talking about the pencils last night is some people think they're just cheap and because they're not prisma or polychromo or Depends what you want. Depends what you get used to. I was going to say whoops, but I'm going to color that. When I'm here, I'm looking here. And it really helps you and get a straighter line with just a little practice. Practice it. See, I was looking right there, and that's where I made the mistake. <laughs> okay. I did a pretty good job of outlining that one. Well, let's do this one while we're
can always tell if I like, take my eyes off of it, off of where I'm going. I don't know how that works, but it works. Let's fill in this line. bring some of the navy blue down here into that other spot there. And it goes right over. Right over the the pencil. Alright, where's our navy blue? I should have done this and then did that. Let's hope it's drying faster than my Okay, now let's try doing this one first. Now, someone told me to store all of my ink pens, jelly rolls, anything like that, like this, not like this or that. So I ordered me another pencil case, and I thought, well, I could put them all in that. The ones I get are like, well, the one I got today, I don't know why, it was like $14, $16 for 300 pencils. So I thought I better order it today. So I noticed some of the ones that I have, or like thirty dollars so I think when things are cheap you gotta hurry up and get them if you can I just
I put way too much on my credit card. It's going to take me till the end of summer to get it paid off. But I think it's worth it right now. I'm really enjoying this. I don't go nowhere. I don't do anything. I go to church on Saturday night and that's it. On Saturday nights because we just rent a building. Rent from that building. From another church. I don't know if it looks, how it looks on camera, but it looks like, uh, it's very pretty, really pretty. Oh, we forgot right here. I'm going to give these some time to dry up before, and then, and then I'm going to go over them with my extreme glitter silver and that's what I went over my little wings I don't know if they're shiny shiny I don't know okay so now we're gonna work on oh we can do our earring and let's do the navy blue. blue in all of these I'm giving a good little press hard because I want that to be very bright Her skin turned out pretty and her little cheeks. Let's see, let's make all of those gold. We got it yeah, we got the gold out. It's in my hand. There we go. Let me go around all of these. Sometimes I miss this, the dot completely and get on the side of it. Those will be pretty. Like 
Yeah. Trying to figure out this camera because once in a while everything looks so pretty and colorful. And I'm not sure what I do different. Okay, and we will come back and put the little dots all the way around. But what I'd like to do is color these wings in, and then when I do the flowers, they'll be dry by then. And this stuff stinks. <laughs> it doesn't smell good at all. So I always just use my lid. I'm going to put just a little bit extra. Just a little bit. And sometimes it'll build up a little scummy part. And then I just take a Kleenex and clean it out. I'm trying to just be very careful with the blue. I don't want it to I don't want to make it come down into my into my white wings. There's a few little bubbles. I'm just pulling them out. There we go. I am leaving just a little bit more thicker coat than normal because I want them to just stand up a little bit. Because I want you to see how pretty. See, it started, it started moving that jelly pin under there. So I guess just tap it. Let me get my... I got a box off of Amazon with the Pointy tips. And that should take care of that. Here I was worried about the blue and it's the forget the jelly pins like to move around. I guess do the inside of the Wings first. You 
didn't do that on the on the little beads. Just a little bit more paint. I know I'm holding my breath so it doesn't move around anymore. I was so careful to keep my white white. So I'm just tapping. We'll have to see what it looks like when it dries. The bumblebee wings turned out so pretty, I have this thought. Okay, I think I got it all. Hmm. Let's do her flowers. Let's see what it looks like when it dries. I keep saying that, huh? Oh my gosh. So we need our two, our two colors, and let's see, decisions, decisions, I think her face turned out so pretty. I think I'll do the insides with the darker 79 CAD Orange Deep. So just a kind of a brownish orange is what we're using here. Let's see, those are something different. I'm going to color all the centers of everything that's like this. At any time, that you're doing something and it might crinkle your paper a little bit and just put down another piece of paper on the top of it and iron it and iron it from the other side but be sure and put your paper in between on both sides if you're flipping it over because um Very definitely could transfer it because if it's wax or oil, the heat, and you don't want a hot iron, 
You want a good warm iron. Just gonna come back in here, the very edges, and put that darker orange back on there. Just kind of gives it a different shading. It's almost hard to see it, but it really works. Just like that. And then we're just going to use our, <clears throat> our gold pen to just fill in the center of these cute little flowers. It's starting to dry and you can kind of see it almost looks, I don't want to say plastic, but it's pretty. I like it. I just hope we didn't smear. And if we did, it's your fault, not mine. <laughs> smear any of, my, any of those. And I just told you the other day that they don't put stuff on top of them, but do it last. Did I listen to you guys? No. Well, if it would have messed them up over there, it did. That's exactly what I just got done saying. Jelly pins are always the very last thing. Remember that. I'm telling myself, remember that. Because they are not water soluble. When you put them down and you put something around them, they're going to move. It's like it's like they kind of melt and just slide around so I can't imagine people who paint a whole picture with those things that would be hard where you know the colors are so close together and if you add other medias and stuff I don't know I don't know. See? Oh, we got two more. to put my little thing on my little finger it's on the edge of the book it's feels like it's poking holes See, I think the castle arts turn make, they, they, they make beautiful pictures I saw they had this sale on 
these on sale on Amazon. I think $40, I don't remember. I try not to look at stuff because then you just want to look at that the Kardashian the whatever they're called like wow I gotta go out of the house. Maybe I'll run out to Hobby Lobby tomorrow to look. <laughs> Just get myself in trouble, huh? Okay. So over there we use some some of the lavender. So let's let's what we can do with these little guys they look like little hearts You can see these or not. Yeah, let me look. It's just a light lavender mob and lavender. 36 and 93. And the little dots will do in all in gold. Okay. This looks like it's supposed to be a necklace. Probably would help if I sharpened it. that little bitty. Little bitty line. Did I get them all? If we do this little Maybe we'll do these two in that. Then we'll just do gold. Let's see. Our wings are dry and so far they look fine. The gold smeared a little bit on the bottom, but it'll be all right if nobody tells they'll think I did it on purpose okay then we have this one it seems like over there I did some things no All right, let's just make it the lighter. I think it was something totally different in a whole different book that I was painting daisies. I think I've got three, three things I had going. 
that I've completed. And I know, I don't know if it's, which one it's in. I'm going to have to go back and look. All right, so then I used... Doo, doo, doo. I think, regardless, we'll try these on the leaves. This is Castle Art Green Light 59. And I'm sure I use this one. Philo Green Light 51. So I just colored. Yep, I did. Let me pull one of these off. So all the leaves on the one side. This might be a little dark. don't think this is the color I used over there, but that's all right. It's close enough. It'll be all right. All right? It's a pretty color. Or the princess queen of the bees. <laughs> All right, let's see what. Let's pull one of these off. That's good because it. Stands out. Looks good, huh? I like it. So let's switch. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Switch it up a little bit. Oh, her wings. Look at they're drying. I don't know if you can see it. They're still wet. They're still... But the part that I was worried about was in here where, where it smeared more. It just kind of made it more like a highlight. It'll be okay. What a beautiful page this is turning out to be. I am impressed with me. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> I don't mean, I just, 
you know, it's pretty. Love the color. You can pick any of the colors I use. You can make them just exactly. I don't care. I don't care if you even have your own channel. It don't matter to me. Give me credit. That's all I ask. <laughs> just see that crazy lady. I think we use this one. Always try to give people credit if I can pronounce their name. You guys are starting to know some of the books I have. If there's a page that you like and you want me to color it and film it, let me know. Just give me a memo. And I'll be happy to color it. I try to pick things that you guys would like. I can tell by how many people are watching what and how long. Well, that's got a little turn back there. That's what that is. I'm learning all the stuff on YouTube. Takes me a while, but I'm getting there. All right, I want to do a few little green, dark green ones. Well, these will definitely be dark green. That's a weird little leaf like backwards. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, so
We're almost done. We forgot. Well, I guess I could make it gold. So we forgot the center. Oh, I think she turned out pretty. Wow. Get all these pencils over and out of my way. She's got little dots. I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, let's see. So we got all these little dots. And we'll go up that way. Let's get all these done first. gonna do this and now it's just gonna go around here I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a jewel I don't know myself here. We're almost done. I don't know if those wings are standing out like they are where I can see them. But man, they're really pretty. Really, really pretty. And I'm not going to put no background. I'm going to leave it like it is. Sometimes it just stands out all alone. I think these two pages stand out beautifully. Da, 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 da. Those wings are almost dry, too.
I love it. <laughs> I just love it. I know I say that, but oh my gosh. I think it turned out so pretty. Wow. I don't know if you can see the wings. They just look so different than they they almost look real. To me that's what they look like. Let's see if I can get them close enough. Sometimes when I get things closer. Wow, aren't those pretty? And her face turned out beautiful. Her little flowers. See the little bees? Let's see. It just all... Let's see. Let me give you a full... You know how I like to stand up and give you a full... I hope you have enjoyed this one because I certainly have and I am so pleased with the colors and how it all turned out wow well let me just tell you today that if nobody has told you that they love you I love you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching and subscribing. Tell somebody today that, that they're important. Make somebody feel, feel like they're loved today. What does it hurt to be kind? Even if people aren't so kind. Huh? So thank you. We'll see you on our next adventure.